We are here at the Odyssey Sound Space at the Hard Rock Hotel, New York, for our check-in with Lisa. I'm so happy you're here. Congratulations on everything. Um, I love your song, Moonlit Floor. I love the the song, the video, all of it. Um, were you familiar with the song you sampled, Kiss Me, before you sampled it? Yeah. Like, actually, I remember, like, when I was young, like, I don't know, like, five or six. Like, my dad always played that on in a car. So I kind of familiar with that song. That's crazy. Yeah. So it was like a full circle moment when you got to sample it. Yeah. So it, I was so happy. Like, as soon as I heard the song, I was like, oh, it's that song. It's beautiful. And you really made it your own. And the music video is lovely. Um, you got to work with so many amazing people on this project. Uh, Ryan Tedder, um, Max. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rosalia, the list goes on and on. Did you have like a wish list of people you wanted to work with on this? Oh, huh, wish list. A lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, but for now that I can think of is Doja Cat. Okay. I, I love her. But it sounds like you got a lot of the people you wanted on this project, right? <laughs> yes, but yeah, Doja Cat for sure is my next goal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Is there anything, any specific thing you learned from any of these people you worked with? Like one thing that stands out, um, you know, a piece of advice or something that you feel like you're going to carry with you forever now? Hmm. Actually, I, when I did a music video with Rosalia, mm -hmm. like, I think I learned something from her. Like she, she's amazing. She's a professional, like every single take that like action she's just like doing her thing and i mean like i don't even i can't even do that <laughs> so i learned that you know like the confidence and you know identity like she just you know maintain her identity you know like with her music with her art and everything so yeah i wanted to be someone like her that you know can maintain my identity i love that yeah. i love that i know uh dancing has been such a big part of your career and and your life can you remember as a little girl like the first routine you ever memorized maybe from just watching music videos or something mm, i don't really remember because i start to dance when i was like super little i was like four or five yeah, yeah. um but i remember my first day at the dance school okay yeah like my mom have me wear like a, a skirt uh -huh. and i just went in and they just like tell me to like kick and everything and i was like i'm in the mini skirt <laughs> <laughs> like what <laughs> was, was it feel was it something that you felt like you you took to naturally like you were naturally good at it or did you have to like really work hard and and bust your butt i i really work hard on dancing because I think I I love it. I have passion, you know. I want to be good. Yeah. And I improved a lot when I moved to Korea when they, you know, give me like a, a intense um dance sure. uh lessons. If if you are doing these like dance routines and and all the training you went through and stuff like that, mm -hmm. is there anything any like unique training that you went through uh when it comes to touring and stuff like that and mm -hmm. dancing mm -hmm. was was any of the training something maybe your fans are unaware of mm, unaware of uh i just keep repeating it yeah until i until my body memorize it okay so when i go on stage i don't have to use my brain much to like okay i have to do this on one or like you know it yeah. just have to be like a body memorized. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, so I just keep repeat until I just I just got it. Awesome. You know? Yeah. So something I think is really cool. You have your rights for this uh, solo music, which is just huge. I mean, how important was that to you as an artist? <sighs> I think I'm just so lucky, you know, to to have had to have that on my own. So. Well, I'm just so thankful. <laughs> it's got to feel empowering for sure, right? Yes. I'm so lucky. <laughs> That's awesome. And another uh, area in your career where you're really excelling is 
acting. You're going to make your debut uh, in The White Lotus next year. Um, has Jenny or any of your friends, anybody in the industry given you any acting tips? Yeah, I actually like asked them like, oh, like, how do you memorize the, all the lines? And they're like, you know, you just you just memorize it. That's that's not good advice. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, it's it. That's all, you know. You just have to memorize it. Oh gosh! And you had classes and stuff like that as well. Or? Yes, yes, I took some classes, of course. Yeah. Gotcha. But cool. it was hard. I bet. Yeah. Before we wrap up, um, one of our big initiatives is I'm listening. It increases uh mental health awareness, mm -hmm. and obviously, music is a huge part of your life. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you, um, do you have artists? Like, give me a few artists that you listen to and they immediately lift your mood and put you mm. in a happy place. Who's your go to? Oh, um, there's so many. Um, Post Malone. OK. Like Sunflower. Yeah. It's really lift my my moods up. Yeah. Yeah. You know, maybe Taylor Swift. Sure. It's like, shake it up. You know, it's like, <laughs> ah! it's being my bathroom and my shower. I was like, ah! you know i love it yeah awesome lisa thank you so much congratulations on everything you are killing it thank you so much